Hey, how's it going? My name's Duelux, and I'm bringing you this awesome tutorial for this Unreal glitch found by my glitching buddies Glitching Queen, JP, and Slick. Now, this infinite Brutus spawn that you see right here, I won't be showing a tutorial on how to do that yet, but I'll definitely be doing one of those in the future. Anyways, to start off this glitch, you want to make the plane and get to the bridge. You want to leave one zombie back at Alcatraz, so then the round doesn't start. Now, once you're here and the zombie spawns, you do not want to kill it. What you want to do is you want to kill Brutus to activate the chairs, and that's where we're going to do the glitch. So I'm going to fast forward here because it takes a while for them to come in, but yeah. So I'm not sure why it took him so long, but he's going to spawn in right about now. And right when he spawns, you want to kill him. You do not want to kill that zombie you see on the left side. You want to keep him alive so the round doesn't start. So uh, yeah, just kill this guy and take care of him. So now you're done that. Um, you want to pick up whatever he has, unless it's a new crate. And um, blue, you're going to have to kill yourself uh, and lose your afterlife if you haven't already. So uh, here we go. I'm going to lose my afterlife. Go back and revive yourself. Um, now you should not have your afterlife anymore. Come over here where I do and jump straight up and you should be in the air a bit. Uh, aim at the chair and hold a grenade to kill yourself. Now before you do that, you want to tell uh, yellow to get ready to take the electric chair. But as you can see here, kill yourself facing the electric chair. Now what yellow is going to do is he's going to wait until your revive sign turns orange. Then he's going to leave and once he's back at Alcatraz, he's going to do exactly what I do in this clip right here. So now that I'm in yellow's perspective, as you can see, uh, her revive sign just turned orange so I'm going to leave. Um, again, this is in yellow's perspective. Now once I get back, I'm going to quickly run over to her dead body and constantly revive. Uh, do not revive all the way. Yellow, just keep on doing this. I'm going to switch back to the clip for blue. Blue is going to be dying out here. Again, yellow, just keep on doing that until blue gets back. So blue is going to get really red here. Okay, so now you're going to have to get white to help you. Once you turn really red, white is going to have to help you out and revive you. Once he revives you, you're going to have an option to hold and activate that chair. As you saw right there, I held to activate the chair and now you're going to switch to this death screen and you're going to be spectating. As you can see, yellow is still reviving himself and his afterlife has barely gone away. Now that you're on the screen, you want to tell white to quickly come back to Alcatraz because he's got to kill the zombie in Alcatraz. So here we go. He just spawned back in. Your body is up there if you can see it. He's doing the same revive thing. Unleashed right now or yellow can actually revive himself. I recommend uh, just doing this though, but it doesn't matter anyways. Now go tell your friends to quickly find the zombie and kill it and you should spawn back in like this. You should be all messed up. Now you want to come over to your body, revive it and boom electric hands for blue and now we're gonna go on the next step. Okay so uh, that was pretty easy. So now we're going on to the bridge again. So make all the gas tanks, put them back on and get back to the bridge. Again don't kill uh, the zombie and just kill Brutus. So now again uh, get Brutus Get whatever he drops unless it's a nuke again uh, here we go here we see white this time going in that corner and killing himself facing the chair now i'm gonna fast forward again until he turns um really red and then i'll start reviving him so right about now he's just on the verge of dying so i'm gonna revive him and boom he's gonna hit that chair as you can see he's there on his screen he's gonna be on a spectating screen i'm gonna quickly take the electric chair so i can come back and start reviving doing the reviving uh glitch to preserve his life again and then I'm gonna have to kill the zombie and he will get his electric hands once he revives himself so as you can see here I'm gonna quickly revive myself turn around and start doing the revive glitch until I can find the zombie or until someone kills the zombie so there we go the brown just started he's gonna revive himself and boom electric hands so now I'm going to quickly do a four player tutorial. As you can see, once two people already have their electric hands, all they need to do, go on the bridge, quickly go back, and uh, they can just revive themselves. They actually didn't even need to go on the bridge. So as you can see there, I just revived myself. Boom, I have electric hands already uh, from the previous. And also, uh, yellow or whoever is right there with me, I'm not sure who he is, green also has them. So uh, we're just going to wait until uh, Glitching Queen dies out. So as you can see, she's dying out right now. She's almost turning red and he's going to revive. White is going to revive her and uh, she's going to be back right there. We're going to go over there and quickly start um, doing the revive cycle until we can find the zombie, kill it, and boom. Once we kill it, she's going to revive herself and she's going to have electric hands 
and uh, our AK-47s that uh, are duplicated along with the glitch. So that's it for now, boys and girls. I hope you can get this working with four people like we did. Um, it is a tough glitch, so just keep on watching this video over and over again if you can't get the timing right. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you need any help, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely help you out. I spent a lot of time on this tutorial, so definitely like this up and I'll see you all later. Peace.